I w I was I was upset because when I realized that people were no longer interested in watching my content that I would be I would have to stop. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Evil One and this is a channel update video. In this video, I would like to address you, the viewer. I would like to provide to you kind of an update on what's happening with the channel, where we're going, and what we're doing. If you would like more kind of regular announcements, head on over to our Discord. Link in the description below. I talk quite a bit on Discord as far as what's happening with me, what's happening with the crew, and, and that sort of thing. If you would like to address me, if you'd like to reach me personally, feel free to shoot me a, a PM on Discord or talk to me in the Ask Evil channel or uh, general chat. That's fine too. With that being said, uh, I've been wanting to make this update video for a little while now, but recent events have kind of made me feel kind of required to put it out. So recently I uploaded a video called Railroads Online is Broken. This video is actually out for quite a while, I think like a week, for my channel members. It was actually at their behest that I made it public. The reason why I made it public and the reason why they wanted me to make it public was because it kind of serves as an announcement to the public about not moving forward with Railroads Online. Effectively, the game is broken. If you went back and watched that, you would see that there are some errors in the game, in our save file. It is possible that it is the save file is corrupted. And while we do have kind of an archive of the save files over on Discord, you can download them too. Moving forward with our story, that would be a major setback. With the release of 1.0 coming out soon, we figured it's probably just best to take a little break and kind of reset. However, I do need to apologize to you. And I need to apologize to anyone and everyone that watched that video. The reason why is because within the first several seconds of that video, you heard me and the crew complain about viewers and subscribers. I am sorry. That is unacceptable. As a content creator, I feel that it is my responsibility to provide entertainment and value. You decided to click on that video to be entertained, to see a video about Railroads Online or just a crew. You did not click on that video to see and hear us complain about lack of viewership. However, that conversation was kind of taken out of context. Again, if you were to head over to Discord, we were actually chatting about it, uh, I believe, in the Railroads Online channel about some of the issues that we were facing. I also started the recording kind of mid-sentence, as it were, mid-conversation. And let me back up a little bit and talk about the, the actual file itself. You see, to my channel members, I create these, what I call dump files. It's when I'm done recording for the, e for the evening, I don't edit it. I just push the stop record button and I post it to my members. That was a raw dump file that you saw. So I was talking with other content creators about issues that we are all experiencing with YouTube. You see, I was on this upward trajectory for a long time in viewers and subscribers. And here's kind of recently, without changing anything that I was doing, my viewership went down 74%. Subscribers kind of plateaued. I'm 1240-something, which is great. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. I, I really do appreciate you. But when I was going from 
thousands of views per video to 44, I think I said in that, in that broken video. That's something to pay attention to. And we're going to get, we're going to talk about the money aspect of my channel and the monetization behind it in just, in just a little bit here. So that's what we were talking about. And I honestly, I can't tell you why suddenly my viewers went from going up or maintaining, you know, a, a thousand, 1500, uh, 2000 views per video to next to nothing. It almost felt like I was being shadow banned by YouTube. And it's very frustrating to someone like me. And we're going to talk also in this video about why I started this channel, because I think that's important when talking about burnout. The other thing I didn't realize when I made that broken video public was that there might be people finding me for the very first time. And that's the video that they see. There was one commenter that stated that in the comments of that video saying that he found my channel for the first time because that broken video was on his recommendations and he clicked on it and it was very off-putting to hear the content creator complaining about the views. That is also unacceptable and I am deeply sorry. I believe in openness and transparency and honesty. I put that video out for those reasons as well. I feel it is my responsibility to share with my audience everything that is going on as far as what is happening with me and why I might be a little upset. That video has been probably one of the worst videos I've ever put out. That It is the worst video I think I've ever put out. It has gotten more thumbs down than any other video I have. And that's the reason why is because I was complaining, but not all the comments were, were negative. There was actually some really good comments, comments like this one right here that says, if I left, I'd be missed. Thank you that actually does a lot of good for me. There was also a lot of comments about like why the game is broken and you know, it's okay to take a break and, and that sort of thing. So thank you to everybody that commented. I read them all and I try to respond to every single comment on every single video. I really do. So let's talk about the monetization because that's kind of recent and I think that's where a lot of people were kind of negative and that that off-putting thing they thought I was complaining that I'm not getting the views so I'm not getting a paycheck kind of a thing I don't make content for the money I got monetized I think back in April I've gotten paid twice since then from YouTube for the ad revenue and if you didn't know, uh, they cut you a check when your balance gets to $100. I think I got my first check in July. Or was it June? I think it was June. And I just got the second check here recently for $100. So since being monetized, I have made $200 since April on this, on this, on this channel. I don't do it for the money. And some would say, you know, it must be nice to play a video game and get paid something. And you're absolutely right. I do. I love to play games. I love to make content. I love to engage with you. I love everything about it. I really do. The money does help. I turn around that money and put it right back into the software that I use for editing to music licenses for the background music, to buying new games, 
but I have way more money, my, my personal funds into all of those things than I have yet to get from YouTube. And YouTube, I did discover, will still show ads even if my video is not monetized. I just don't get paid for it. <laughs> Each video that I produce, it'll make anywhere between 25 cents and I think the highest video I have now is like $6. It's not a lot of money. So yeah, I don't do it for the money. I'm not actually going to monetize this video because I don't feel it's fair. Some would say that I hate money, that YouTube, I just said, they're going to show an ad. If they did show an ad, let me know because I'm not monetizing this one. So if they showed you an ad, let me know. I'm just curious. I'm not going to complain or anything like that. But supposedly, I'm supposed to get paid for that ad revenue. So in that broken video, I did talk about my process uh, and I exaggerated a little bit. I said, I think right near the beginning, something like uh, I record for an hour or something like that, and it takes me 20 hours to record it. I hope that people understand that was an exaggeration. In reality, when I record for a couple of hours, and I want to par it down to cut it down to less than an hour, it'll usually take me between four to 10 hours of editing time. So, but it's still, that's, that's still time that I have to, to come up with, to actually do that, that work. And I love it. But let me talk about my day really quick. So you kind of understand where I'm coming from. Maybe a little bit more. I have a job. I work 40 plus hours a week at, like most of you, I, my job is about an hour away from where I live. So I get into my truck and I drive an hour to work every morning. I usually leave here about 5.30 in the morning. I get home and I have two small children and a very loving and understanding wife. My family will always come first before YouTube and before video games and content creation. So I get home, I spend time with them. I eat dinner, play with them, that sort of thing. When they go to bed, it's usually between about 8, 8, 10, somewhere in there, to about 8.30 or so. I hang out with my wife and we maybe watch TV or just talk because we don't get a lot of time to talk these days. She normally goes to bed about 9. I have from the time she goes to bed at 9 to whatever time I shut it down to do all the gameplay, all the recording, all the editing, everything for this channel gets done at night. Please don't think I'm complaining about that. I elect to do it. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what I'm trying to say. But I don't have a lot of time to play a lot of games and create a lot of content and spend you know, hours upon hours upon hours editing. I've looked at hiring an editor to help me, but honestly, the, the channel would have to make a lot more for me to afford that. Why did I tell you all that? Well, because I put all this extra time into the channel when I should be in bed every night and I got 44 views on that last video. Again, I believe that was because I was shadow banned or something like that. But let me tell you, since that broken video came out, something kind of got unstuck with the algorithm. And my content is coming back up again. It's not quick, but it's coming back up. I'm seeing the rise. I haven't checked the analytics yet, but I see the rise. So because my channel started doing poorly, and I started to get really burned out and depressed that I'm putting all this effort into content creation for really nobody to watch. I started to get really burned out and it was, it was very quick. So 
my wife, members of Discord, you guys talked about how it shouldn't be a job. And you're absolutely right. It shouldn't be a job. And I don't treat it like a job. But you guys did remind me of why I started content creation. So if you don't know, I'm going to tell you a very abbreviated story of why I decided to download OBS for the very first time, fire up Railroads Online, and push the record button. I was in search of a new train simulation game. I like trains. I like Steam. And I wanted to find a game that would, that would allow me to drive a Steam locomotive and be more like a simulation. There were like uh, other games out there and stuff, and I've played them, and I kind of got bored with them, to be honest with you. But the focus was never on steam locomotives it was always about oh it, it mo more modern trains and oh and, he, and you can drive a steam train kind of a thing so during my search i found this youtuber and he's playing a relatively new game called railroads online with his friend now these youtubers they play all sorts of games they're just a generic gaming channel and they were having a lot of fun and the game looked kind of promising you get to lay your own track and uh, drive these little locomotives around and stuff but honestly they didn't know anything about trains and steam technology and they were putting out some misinformation not intentionally and I have nothing against them but what they were saying kind of annoyed me and they were kind of the only ones at that time putting out railroad uh, railroads online content. So I liked the game; it looked good, so I downloaded it and I started playing it myself. And the more I watched what they were doing, the more I got annoyed. And so I decided to download OBS, get a microphone, and push the record button. Go back and check out some of those older videos; those first videos that I made. And you will see that they are rough. <laughs> Not saying that I'm very refined and polished now, but I really didn't know what I was doing with an editor. I didn't know anything about sound design. I didn't know how to make a thumbnail to save my life. And I certainly didn't know anything about YouTube. But I still did it. And then I started to educate myself. I, p I have poured hundreds of hours into educating myself on editing on the YouTube algorithm, how to read analytics and that sort of thing. So I can deliver to you a better product. I want you to enjoy the story, the content. I don't want you to be annoyed by background noises and bad transitions. I want you to be engaged from the time you click on the video to that very last end screen. Those are my goals. So when I put all this effort into educating myself and making awesome content, and then YouTube just shuts me down for no apparent reason, I got pretty low. When I was reminded of the reasons why I started doing YouTube, I actually did go back and watch that very first episode. I didn't have any viewers. I didn't have any monetization. didn't have a single subscriber. But I still did it, and I still had a lot of fun, and I still do have a lot of fun. So I tell you this story to tell you that I'm not going anywhere. I enjoy making content. I will continue to make content for as long as I can. And I will not delete the channel like I may have mentioned or alluded to in that broken video. If I did for some reason need to stop making content, I wouldn't actually delete the channel and remove all the content from YouTube. That wouldn't serve any purpose at all. 
I want this channel to be my legacy, if, if nothing else. But one of the things that we discovered during that broken video, our last time the crew and I got together, is that not only is our version of Railroads Online broken, and the story has got to stop, but Railroads Online is also kind of stagnant. And I know that the development team, they, they're they great. They are adding new features and, and you know doing all they can to make sure the game is as stable as it can be. But it's still kind of the same. It's the same game that I've been playing for a long time now. And I... It just, it's, it's, it's kind of stagnant. And that's why we integrated the, the lore, the role-playing, the story behind the game aspect to it. Is so to try and brighten it up again. Try and make it new, fresh, and fun. When 1.0 is released, we will pick up the game again. And we will be right back driving those trains, the crew and I. And it's probably going to be on the new map. And we're probably going to start all over again. And it's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. Stay tuned for that, for sure. But in the meantime, I really don't want to get pigeonholed into being that railroad channel. While I do love trains, and I know a lot of you guys love trains as well, I like other games too. And I like historical simulation style games. After all, that's what it says in the About tab on, on my channel. So some games I play are not 100% historically accurate. And I kind of talk about that when I start playing the game. But I do really enjoy those games. And I think you would too if you give them a chance. Right now I'm playing a, a new Viking game called Aska. Super fun. I get lost in that game. I'm also playing um, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. A early battleship style game. And it's, it's a lot of fun too. It's a little slow. But it's still fun. I'm looking at a couple other games that are coming up here too. That I, I just actually added to my wish list. I'm very excited to to see come out soon. I hope you accept my apology. That video probably should have stayed members only. But it is out now, and I'm not going to remove it. But just please know that I was not complaining that my channel is suffering. That I don't appreciate all of my subscribers and all of my viewers. If you have ever viewed a single one of my videos, if you've ever hit that subscribe button, if you've hit that bell notification, thank you. If you're a member over on my Discord, thank you. I know our Discord channel is, can be kind of slow from time to time, but it is a great place to connect, and it's a great place to get updates. I don't put out these videos all that often, but I do update Discord quite a bit. So, oh, I forgot. Before I go, I, I wanted to reiterate, you know, that I'm, I'm not going anywhere. In fact, for the first time in a very long time, I actually have videos uploaded to YouTube that have been edited and are, are ready to be published. And they're scheduled out for the next oh, three weeks or so. Two videos per week. So... I actually had some time recently to to hammer those out. So, yeah, the channel's not going anywhere. Also, actually, while I got you, I'm going to get out of the way. Let's head over to my channel really quick. So here is my channel, and right up here is the banner. And this banner has been up here now for a little while, and honestly, I really don't like it. I'm looking to update it to make it more, I guess, in line with what the channel actually is. However, I am not really all that skilled in designing stuff like this. So if you have any ideas 
or if you would like to design a banner, I am open to suggestions and I greatly appreciate it. If you would like to submit a banner to be up here, uh, one that you design yourself, please shoot me a PM over on Discord. Now making this video has been a little bit more of a challenge than I thought it was going to be. Not necessarily for the content of it or the announcements. Definitely not for apologizing. That was the easy part. I am having a hard time with this video because I'm having a hard time creating this announcement video because I really don't know how to say the things I need. I don't know how to convey my appreciation for you guys. You guys are the reasons why I'm actually here. You know, as I s said in the uh, my mentally rehearsed story of how I started creating content. I said that when I started, I didn't have any viewers. I didn't have any subscribers, but I enjoy what I do. And that is a hundred percent true, but I can tell you that if it didn't, if it stayed like that, if I didn't get views, and I didn't get subscribers, then I wouldn't be doing it. So it's hard for me in this video talking to this little lens to convey how much I appreciate you. I hope this video, you can see that. It's not about the money. It is about my It is about the fact that I don't want to quit. And I, I'm not going to, but that's kind of what I, I was feeling. It, it was about why am I doing this if nobody is watching? With that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Probably not as much as some of my other content, but... I think I said what I needed to say and thank you very much again from the deepest parts of my heart. Thank you. And I hope you have a good one. Bye for now.